As you guys know, I've been in Kumasi for the past couple of days. Today, I'm meeting with a family that moved from the diaspora to Ghana a while ago. I am so excited to talk to them. They're doing amazing things out here. This is probably the biggest group of people I've interviewed <laughs> <laughs> since I started YouTube, but I'm very, very excited. So let's get right into it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying my Kumasi content. My background accent, we had 50 pounds. It's a blessing, mm. I mean, to be here. Because there are a lot of opportunities here and Absolutely. advantages here. Okay. You have to be more creative in Ghana. Good food, yeah. great weather, putting in a good mood. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I like it. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Thank welcome you. to Kumasi. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can you guys introduce yourselves to my subscribers? My name is Douglas Nimo, father of seven. <laughs> <laughs> so I moved from the UK with a family, um, came with six children, only my daughter is in the UK, and we are in Kumasi. Lovely. Hi, my name is Alicia, I'm the youngest of my siblings. Uh, my name is Dwayne, um, I'm the third born. My name is Kofi, I'm the middle child, fourth born. I'm David, I'm the fifth born, I'm 17 years old. And I'm Duke, and I'm the first born. <laughs> my name is Ilya, I'm the sixth born, I'm 14 years old. My name is Manila, I'm Mrs. Newark, and these are my kids. <laughs> I'm Adelaide, you too. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. So, Mr. Nimo, how long ago did you move out of Ghana? I left Ghana in February 1989. Oh, okay. Yes, so I was 21, I just turned 21, three months after I turned 21. I left to uh, Germany to study. Okay. Yeah, at that time, my friends were going to uni. Okay. And I wanted to study outside. Okay. And my dad was against in the beginning because he wanted me to study. Stay in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I left to Germany and then uh, started language school. Mm -hmm. And then after some months, it was so cold. I told my dad, I want to come to Ghana. <laughs> 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 no, it says no. It was so so cold. My ears, yeah. my hands. I couldn't open the door, and I said, and I'm me. I said, ah, I should have listened to my dad. <laughs> I, should, I, should have, I should have gone to take look my all my friends. Yeah. And I remember, remember when they they will go to uni and the holidays they come to London work, get some pounds, and they will come and flex and come back. I said, ah, I should have done that. And I told my dad, oh, let me come back. Said, no, 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 no. He said, no, no, no. <laughs> so stay there. Then I stayed there. And then um, two years, 89, 92, I met this lady, beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then that was January, 20, uh, 24, January, 1992, we met. Okay. And then, um, yeah, the same year we married. And then we got deal. <laughs> One year. So one year, one year, yeah. 1992. Yes. There was no time wasting. No yeah. no yeah. And then got you can then know me and then do it. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then everybody, everybody, everybody. Okay. Everybody. Okay. Okay. And then we ended up with, we said we wanted four children, then we ended with <laughs> seven. Seven, wow. And yeah, by the way, I'm the first one of seven children. Too, oh, okay. So, so mm -hmm. yeah, continuing the tradition. Yes, so who's going to take over? You can, you can go. We haven't decided. <laughs> <laughs> so what was life like for you in Germany and in London as well? I don't remember Germany yeah, much. I was young, young but the UK, it's hard to say. It's like once you live there, it's just like a routine every day. It's the mm -hmm. same. When I was at school, school or get up, get ready for school, come home, eat, homework, back to bed, school the next yeah. day. And then when I got a job, it was just instead of school, it was the job instead. Right. So it was just the same continuous yeah. thing. Did you enjoy being there? Yeah, I liked the UK definitely is a very nice place to live. Very, very fun. I went to school in Germany. Okay. So as for Germany, it's more, if I compare it to UK, it's more structured. Mm. Things work. Okay. And in UK, it, UK is nice too, but it's different. But the community is better there. Yeah. Like the diverse. people are nice. Nice, nice and diverse too. as well. Not to say German people are not nice. <laughs> no. But like in Germany, let's just say if you have something on your face, they'll tell you you have something on your face. Oh. 
<laughs> but you kids are quiet. Oh. <laughs> and when you leave, they're like, yeah, this this lady, you saw that on her face. <laughs> yeah, they're more they're more polite, right. more. But in Germany, when you have friends in Germany, they're like your real friends. Oh. Like they're more direct. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's what I would say. Yeah, yeah. They're like in Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Like when when you when I first came here, they're like, wow, oh, you you're big, you become so <laughs> big. The way you can see it. Because they don't know me. Before I came, it was like five, six years ago, and I was like more slim. Yeah. So when we came, when we moved here, they were like, wow, like how, what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have no filter. No, 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 no. But you know what's funny? They don't mean it like you think they do. Yeah, no, 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 they no. don't. They're just At the crazy. beginning, I didn't know. No. Yeah. So later I realized, okay, they, they mean like I, I'm, doing, I'm doing well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, because everywhere I go, they kept saying, hey, do you, do you? <laughs> I got to it got to a point where I was feeling you know <laughs> like what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they say you've lost weight, then it's like they're worried about you. Yeah, 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 it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So skinny. It's true, it's true, it's true. What about you, Ella? What's been the experience for you? Like, how was Germany for you? I mean, I was born in Germany. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it was good. Uh -huh. I mean, we've got good food there and everything. Mm -hmm. I never had really had any problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In UK, I really liked it there because they were really open. I started with poems in Germany when I had the kids and they grew up and they went to school and then they were like some picking on the Duke and things like that. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. This is when we realized, you see, because he was the only only black boy in the school, mm. so they were picking on him. So that I didn't like that. Yes. Well. But before that, I didn't even had any problems with that really yeah. myself. Okay. So. When we went to the UK, it's what I liked about UK, they were very open. Yeah. They were very open to other nationalities and everything. They accept everybody how they are. Yeah. And I really like that. Yes. And especially when you go there, hey darling, how are you? Uh, yeah. 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 Disease came and everything, mm -hmm. and obviously we are in that age where we want to have a little bit of a change. Yes, I could imagine myself staying there all the time. Mm. And now, back of my head, we were building something up here and everything. Yeah, firstly, we wanted to stay at a different place in the UK at the seaside, so we tried to get somewhere at the seaside mm -hmm. and didn't work out. Whatever we tried, it didn't work out because God knows better. Mm -hmm. And I said to my husband, just just take the money, just go. Yeah. And he was just waiting for this. Ah, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I had already suggested it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But you have to, the two of you should be once. on the same page. Yeah. 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 I was not the type that will say, good, I'm Fresh going, and then you me, come. Yeah. Now. Yes, yes. And then we go together as a family. Exactly. Or, or we yeah. Yeah. Oh. You, were, you were willing to wait even yeah, 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 to yeah, finish yeah, 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 yeah. We did originally wait a we while. We delayed it. Yeah, yeah, we were. I mean, Mom wanted to do like the PhD, like the masters and stuff. Mm. I said, yeah, if that's the case, then we need a bigger space. Mm. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, if you have a big family like ours, yeah. applying for mortgage. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we applied like the fourth time, and I told my friend, if this doesn't work, I'll go to Ghana. Because mm. I, I really, I mean, every head of the family wants to have, you have your own home for yes, your children. Absolutely. And I realized that we were hitting a ceiling. Mm. Yes. Well, if the ceiling, I realized that it was not. Possible because mm -hmm. when you're doing an application, even like two children, three children, but it, when you put third child, then you have to provide a massive income. Because oh. they, they yeah. count the children, they're the, oh. the dependents. Yeah, they're called dependents. So they look yeah. at how many dependents you have. Right. It doesn't matter how much like money you can money bring up front. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. the money that they ask for, like as soon as you add one child to it or mm -hmm. two children, yeah, like my dad You have to saying. provide right. more. Right. And, and I said, no, it. let's go to Ghana. But because um, Ella was um, wanted to do the masters and stuff. Yeah, because I was working from home since mm -hmm. 2006. Mm -hmm. I've worked on my own, worked online. And later, when we did the application for that um, house, and we knew we were going to get it, we started being packing. Yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the Christmas tree is going to go there. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we packed yeah. everything, we've been there twice, and it we were good. all going to live together. Yeah. And then um, it didn't go through. No. And that's what I said, you know what, let's just leave. I was using lots of the UK app. Okay. There were two. One is called Right Move and one is called Zupla. Okay. They are the top property ones. Okay. So I was checking, I want to build a similar one for Ghana. Okay. And I was looking for the of, of, of the features of mm -hmm. the Ghana one, mm -hmm. the top Ghana one and the UK ones. So I was looking at like 3D, like showcasing 
the properties in 3D videos and stuff. And that's when I did a research on the Ghana one. I saw this house uncompleted. And okay. It was like, I wanted that buy and that's, I mean, that's my area. I was mm -hmm. like, no way, this house is not there. Mm -hmm. So I made a call and they said it's still available. So I told my brother, go and have a look and then um, see if it's available. So he came, he called them, said it's available. He came for the viewing. He told me it's fine. And I said, good. I mean, there's work to do. Mm -hmm. But a good thing with uncompleted is you can get good deals. Yeah, you right. You can get good, yeah. good deals. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we had a good deal. And thank God the deposit, that, the deposit was there. The one that was rejected. The, the original. The yeah, 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 it was there. Yeah, yeah. So we used that as installment. Oh. And then we made, we made a payment plan and gradually. Hey, this one so you see, you see how God works. I know, I know. So I always this say that. Wasn't meant to be yeah, exactly. and, and this one is far better. Than Most UK houses, you realize that they had beautiful. They have just one washroom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, one bathroom one and one yeah. guest ba toilet. Ba bathroom is, that's it. That's it. Always one. Always one. Always one. Strange. Ma right? Mainly, you, you, yeah. You get maybe two, maybe toilets, one downstairs and upstairs. But I mean, the, I mean, the bathroom like, is look, one. Look at like stock. We, we yeah. were like eight, mm. so you have to wait. Yeah, you have to wake yeah. up early. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can go first. Yeah. Yeah. Church, we went to church. Church, church, church like, starts at nine you know, o'clock. We wake up five. Just oh a real God. shower yeah. on time. We are blessed. We have like we have six six um like six rooms, bedrooms. Yeah. Bedrooms, yeah. yeah. Well, I've, I've, I even use one as my office. Okay. In the UK, I had my my office in the corner in the, in the living room. room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you have so have, much space. Have space yeah. and all the rooms are like all sweet. Yeah, right. It's a blessing. Mm. I mean, to be here. Yeah. I always say that God ordered our steps. That's yeah. literally yeah. ordered us. Yeah. Blocking the other one and yeah. It's 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 amazing. Yeah, everything. everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So did you always have it at the back of your mind that you will settle in Ghana at a point in time once you left Ghana? Yes, my dad didn't want me to travel, mm. and one of my good friends, like I named Kofi after him. It's called Kof Kofi Asante. Okay. Um, he's called Victoria Asante. Okay. He's the MD of um, FBN Bank. Oh, okay. So he's my childhood friend. And I remember when I got to Germany to the university, I, w I literally, I went there to the administration and got his admission for him. Mm. But he, his dad didn't want him to travel. That's mm. why he didn't travel. And now he's a mm. big guy here. Okay. So my dad knew, you know, before they believed, they didn't believe in traveling. Mm. After it's like, they knew you can still make it, here. Make, make it here. Yeah. So I always wanted to come back. I always wanted to come back. But the time is when, and you know, one thing that most of the diasporans, especially those who were born here, that we went outside. One thing that we've all experienced is at some point you get some negative experience in Ghana. Yeah. Maybe your projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's 1996. We decided to come to Ghana. Okay. We were we planned to come to Ghana yeah. even because my dad was there. My dad was always wanted me to, you know, come back home. And what he did was 94, we had a plot. It's also here, Dabai. It's, okay. it's uh, the other side. So we had that plot and it was building. And later there was some dispute and they were oh. demanding a whole lot of money for that. Mm. So because we wanted to stay in the family, we just hand it to my sister to okay. take care of it. Yeah. Yeah. So we always wanted to come back. But because of those experiences mm. and then land issue when my yeah. dad died gave us a massive land and then you know family issues yeah. his yeah. family issues and then the lands were sold and you know you tell it at the point say you know what i'm not going to do anything in ghana i had that you, you, mm. you said no yeah. i said no, no, no. Give up. I, I give up yeah. Yeah. i said i said i'm yeah. just yeah. the, st the stress was too much yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that's why i stopped i, I say this property is gone i'm not going to build anything mm -hmm. like seven years i was in ghana i was not doing anything mm. i said i'm going to build a house here, buy a house here, live here with my family. Yeah. Nice. So when I told my mom about buying the house and that we didn't get, my mom said, I could see. Now he's going to get his house. When is he come to uh, uh, settle in Ghana? In Ghana so yeah. my mom was oh, worried. she wanted you to come as well. Yeah. yeah. Apart from Duke my, and Naomi. And Naomi. Yeah. They, they, Duke spent like two years here in Ghana. Oh, when okay. here because, we, because we were planning to move. Mm. We wanted to move in Ghana in 96. Okay. Yeah. We were here so for two years. They were here. Oh, the okay. thing was, my dad said, they'll let them start school. Mm -hmm. You go back and get prepared this year. So mm -hmm. they started, Duke started school. And then at that time, I went back to Germany. And then 
job issues mm. it didn't work and then you have to come back right yeah. yeah so it was also a mind but because of those experiences like losing the initial um, house and all this kind of stuff i decided no i'm not ghana was not on my plan mm. but then what changed is this in 2017 i came to ghana with duke and naomi mm -hmm. that time there was nothing i had nothing in ghana because I, I didn't want to do anything i came to ghana and my younger brother who is the fake ghana Kwame, he took us to his in-laws place they were building an apartment and from Accra to Kumasi, I was because I had not been here for some time, I was observing people were building like apartments. Yeah. Apartments. I said, oh, this is a good idea. Mm. When I came, I saw his in-law, they had this nice apartment they were building. Then he took me to his house. He, he was building. His house is like this one. Okay. Massive. Okay. And, mm. and, mm. and I was like, <laughs> he was uh, like a manager at Nestle. Okay. I went there with my, my sister and my in-law. And we were like, hmm. I think when we were being touring the house, we were all quiet. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 had, we had not done anything in Ghana. Ghana yeah. So we were all quiet. And that's when I realized I'm making a mistake. Mm. I said, maybe my little mind showed yeah, this little my brother. Look how much he feels. And he has not traveled. Yes. Yeah, 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 it's working here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. working here. So I think this house, you know, this house is like Uncle. Kwame yeah, it so I think subconsciously, his house registered in my mind. But it manifested right. itself. And it, it, manifest, it manifested. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. This one, yeah. because this is like his house. Yeah. It's the same style. And then I went to my other cousin's place. I mean, Kwe, Kwe Ku, was little when I was traveling. Mm. And he, took, he showed me his house is building. <laughs> <laughs> And you are outside. Yeah, yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah. You are, you are yeah, making yeah. money. You know? I was building a, a family. <laughs> You're earning pounds. Exactly. Pounds, dollars. And Kwaku's income is big. Yeah. I said, Ish. And he told me that later he's going to build an apartment near it. I said, Hey. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and that time, business was good. I mean, we were selling on Amazon. Yeah. Like crazy. Yeah. 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 So before that, my good friend wanted to sell this cocoa plot to us. Okay. And that I said, no. Mm. You know, she had three plots. She wants to give one to me. So tell me about the place. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Later, I got the same place. That time she was offering for 6000 And later when I decided it was 10000 Oh. oh. 4000 yeah. yeah. That was three years later. Oh, boy, yeah. Three years later, yeah. And then, I mean, after that visit, I came with 2016 with Auntie Lily and Uncle Martin. Yes. I think two days after the election. Yeah. So I came and then 2017, I left Ghana. So when I went to UK, I called my friend. I said, your, your property, your land, is it still there? Mm. She said, oh, she's going to build an apartment on it. Oh. She's not going to sell it. I said, oh, no. And I said, okay, if you hear of me. So four weeks later, she came back, thought about it, and she said, oh, I can have it. And even in January, normally January, there's no money. Mm. In January, you spend all your money Christmas. Mm. But on Amazon, we get paid mm. like 29th of each month. Okay. So Christmas sales was good. At that time, yeah. at that Christmas, I made like over $5,000. Oh. So when the money came, I used a chunk, a big chunk, and I bought that land. She gave me some few months to, to, to pay, pay the rest. The rent, mm. and I yeah. pay. So when, whilst I was paying, we were building the wall at the same time. Okay. Building the wall at the mm. same time. Oh, 2017, January. Mm. And then August, I came with Duke. And now, and now me, yeah. Okay. Mm. And then September, we started doing the foundation. Because mm. okay. the whole plan was an apartment. So yeah. we did the foundation for the apartment. Mm. And then my architect said, okay, we still have space. You know, land is hot. Mm. And it's, oh, yes. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. hard to get. Yeah. So if you have it, you use it for. So Absolutely. I said, Let, let's maximize this. Mm this land and then we decided to create a family one near it yeah so that's the story mm. and the um, one thing that um made it easier for us to move is because of having an online business okay yeah because yeah. since 2006 i've not worked for anyone yeah so when we moved to germany i came to to the uk with my own business okay mm -hmm. so the first seven years i used to build websites with you 
Okay. So we were. <laughs> you have been involved in you, everything. Yeah, since right? that, you know, you, yeah. he's been my student yeah, since yeah, that. Yeah, we've, we've been working alongside. Yeah, yeah. 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 And later, we started um, um, our own website agency. So when he went to uni, that's when it was a lot for me. And yeah. Then I switched to um, digital marketing and then e-commerce. Okay. Yeah, and then. Mm. That's, that's that's what brought us brought here. You here. Okay. And we have family here too, and that helps. Yeah. 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 Did you guys have any reservations about moving when Dad said you guys were going to move here? For me, it wasn't difficult because I used to live here as a yeah, child. Yeah. And before before the CV happened, mm-hmm. I came here every year, mm. so it was normal for me. Right. I've always felt like when I came here, it's home. Home for you. Yeah. So yeah. I think that the, the kids they yeah. really they did well. Because yeah. they've never been, been here. Before. I yeah. think the disease did yeah. help as well because I think everyone was just tired. Yeah. Yeah, so a nice it, change yeah. of pace. I said, yeah. Just, yeah, let me just, I'll go. If I don't really enjoy it, I'll move back. back and I have yeah. it, so. so once you made it here, how was settling in for you? I think we're just getting used to how it is. Yeah. You know, in the UK, you have the system, roads are nice. But I don't yeah. think the actual settling in was hard because we had former. Yeah. So we just moved uh, grand, in. Grandma. Oh, okay. Oma is a German word for grandma. grandma. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. So we just, it was like as if you were visiting. And it was after a while, just I got used to it yeah. for me personally. Yeah. It's the initial excitement that you're going somewhere new. new yeah. So you're not, you don't feel like, oh, it's not nice. Right. Because you want to see and explore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in the UK, there were conveniences. Mm. Like roads that were like, Probably done. Done, yeah. You could order stuff from like Amazon yeah. and all that stuff. And it'll yeah, come the to. next day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chinese. But once you got used to that, yeah. Yeah, once you got used to that, yeah. Yeah. The weather's better, obviously. You can yeah. find stuff and not worry about weather. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 The little, you know, like the convenience, you create your own convenience. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now you buy gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Once yeah. you get to know the community uh-huh. and what you can buy, <laughs> then it's fine. Yeah. 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 So when you came to Ghana, was this building completed already? No. 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 The main structure was there, okay. but we had to do a lot of work to it, especially okay. this uh, garden stuff, because uh-huh. we had to raise everything. Okay. So the whole thing. So it was your, all full your, of... Your, your room was not my room was basically just a box. There was nothing there. No tiles. <laughs> just a, just no a window. No tiles, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Bathroom was there. there. Yeah. Was it my room too, where the floor wasn't there? Yeah, yeah your, your room... We, we your room we had there, tiles we were to get them out oh yeah because those tiles more. were like so yeah, yeah, yeah. Not nice. we, we, it was a weird pattern when you yeah. look at it you feel you feel, feel a bit nauseous, sick yeah. oh really yeah it's yeah. like a i don't know it's like you look at it for a long time it's like <laughs> you start feeling you start feeling oh, weird we said no we'll take them out even the paint is the green yeah like they like they like the greens here i've noticed and this like very old vintage wallpaper in the oh, living room, like oh, yeah. like a grandma's house or something. So, <laughs> yeah. so we had to do a lot. I mean, this tiles, mm-hmm. we did everything new. Okay. And then um, we had to raise the whole compound oh. to the level of the street so that okay. when it rains, it will yeah. yeah. So we did that and left it for about six months. Mm-hmm. And then when it hardened, we did the landscape. So were you staying here no. all along? No, no. We were, what we did was we finished the inside before we moved in. In that okay. time, the three months, we were living at my mom's place. Oh, okay. And that's 15 minutes from here. Okay. So we, after three months, then we moved in and then we completed the rest. The rest yeah. So it was like gradual process, yeah. gradual process, yeah. you know. Mm. I believe in taking baby steps. You Absolutely. Know, gradually, gradually. And it was good for our grandma to finally meet the kids. Yeah. Yes. We, we've only so seen grandma. grandma they, those those three phone. those three moms they bonded. Yeah. They learned they learned like a few like skills. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Those things are different here. Yeah. The, the way they do things here. Yeah. 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 And even I think when we were, um, we were also thinking about it. Like, for example, even if the house were to be finished at the time. We're even not planning to move in direct, but spend that time with, with family grandma, members. Because yeah. she had not seen the children mm. apart from you. She has heard of them, but not seen yeah. them. So we want that bond not only with my mom, but with the family, like family. My, their uncles, Uncle Paul. Look at yeah, everybody. With, really, with your yeah. cousins. Yeah. Yeah. We have so many family members. You know, one thing that I talk about with my friends is, you know, when we're growing up, you can't differentiate between your cousins and your siblings. You know, mm. like your like your cousins are like your siblings. Your siblings. You know, yeah. we, were, we were very tight, yeah. but because of traveling, yeah. traveling, your children don't know your mm. your your brother's children. Mm-hmm. And this, we were talking about that. It's it's a bit sad. 
mm. you know. So coming home was, you know, bringing them and getting the chance to bond with their, mm. with their cousins, with their cousins, you know, yeah. which is which we've done, and I mean, we've met all of them, yeah, been to okay. my hometown, mm. a few. Do. So that connection. That connection is yes, yes. And, and my mom yeah. comes here. Like once a month, once a month, yeah. or sometimes for, for once breakfast, three weeks mm-hmm. for breakfast, yeah. spend the whole day. Here. Oh, okay. She'll sit here and chat with, with, with my uncle. Yeah. Yeah. She always comes to one of our uncles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we make fried rice fried and fried breakfast fried. and yeah. stuff, so it's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you know, every weekend here in Ghana, there's always a funeral or something. Yes, always. So, yeah. so we, yeah, right. We get, yes, to, we, we get, we get to see them like often. Often, yeah. When I tell my mom. Oh, what are you doing this week? I said, go to a funeral. Again? Yeah. <laughs> somebody somewhere has died. Yeah, every day somebody died. I remember the first time when we came here, um, like when we were in the Air Force, I was wearing a hoodie. So I didn't realize how hot it was. Mm. So the moment we came out, the head just hit, hit my face. I was like, Mom, I can't breathe. <laughs> the, air, the airplane, when you open oh, it, yeah. when you open oh, yeah. the door, it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like I can't breathe, Mom. Because it was cold it was cold yeah. Yeah. No, it was a big change so the, the funny thing is eight of us mm. and we were in the plane we had the whole seat yeah. From, yeah. from this window to the other window four yeah and there's two here so i was sitting with a guy here yeah. so the whole the whole room all your family. Yeah. 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 so there was this woman um like uh the Ghanaian woman she was sitting from me she was all the time looking at she was she was the accent yeah. yeah. <laughs> and i was holding her passport she said and then when we got to Ghana, the immigration officers, like everyone wanted us to come to like yeah. they were, wow. Like a, like a football <laughs> So they were they were they were all helpful. Yeah, yeah, so nice. oh, yeah, nice. They're very welcoming yeah. here. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, I mean, the, yeah. it was, they helped us, they, they, everything went to the, when we got out to Ghana, like, we, oh, oh, you're fresh when you got out, like, yeah, when, just our, when our I was uncle, like, wow, when we saw Uncle, Kwame. Uncle, Kwame. uncle Kwame, Uncle Sammy and everyone, I was like, oh, yes. oh yes. in the yes. car, just coming, <laughs> and, and, and like, there were three cars, three, waiting, yeah, and the, but the heat, the heat, the mosquitoes are the worst, I remember, I was, uh, woke up in the morning, I was like, why am I so itchy, I yeah. look, I was like, what the heck? What? <laughs> so many. Welcome to Ghana. I know. And the mosquitoes <laughs> like you when you just come. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. but yeah. you are so fresh, blood. fresh blood. Yeah. I, I think I think it's our scent. It is yeah. the scent. They they smell yeah, it's yes, something yes, about it. They'll tell you they are friends, yeah. Like like a feast. Let's finish this. I've been lucky though. I don't I don't get bitten that often. I've been yeah. pretty lucky. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't hear right now. Yeah. Oh, they, they like they I think they're yeah, they're yeah, tastier yeah. than me, so they don't like them. We have access to Great yes. uh, medical Medi- thing. Yes, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's not far from us. Oh. Are you a doctor? It's like yeah. our GP. Yeah, okay. very, very yeah. good. They take the time. Um, Remember yeah. when we went there? I mean, we I went there with David when you 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 so cut your yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they spend time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, you feel, you feel, you feel it easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's not so busy there. They will see you. They take their time. Mm. You know, make sure everything's proper. Yeah. They take your blood. And, do everything. That's yeah. really Amazing. good. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds like you guys have had a really positive experience. Yeah, oh, very, yes. very, oh, very. Yes, yes. yes. I, I mean, I mean, yeah. and the, mostly what, positive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not 100% positive. The only thing, the only thing that's it's never, that's not real. Yeah. Yeah. The, the only thing yeah. that was an issue, the yeah, light up, yeah. okay. That's the, I mean, but you know, Kumasi light up is too much. It's true. But it's only this bad. When it's hammer time and it's hot and you need oh, the fan. When it's rainy right. season and it's nice and then cool. It's Unless there's a storm. The it's, if there's a storm, it just then it goes off too. Right. It just, it just recently, just when recently, we came, yeah. the, the lights were... It was fine. It was more the water that was the issue. It's just like the last month. Yeah. It's been yeah. horrible. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's like when it's really hot. Um, when it's really hot, the people are like, oh, let's turn the lights off. Let's turn it off. But the good thing is here you can do stuff yourself. Like yeah. with the water we have on well. Yes, yes. You know, yes. when you want to have electricity, you can do solar, solar yeah. you can or generator, even generator. Solar, yeah. Yeah, you don't need to a special yeah. allowance for that. True, true. So yeah. you just 
you can be your own boss. You, boss. you have to be more creative in Ghana. Yeah, yeah you, have to, you have to like think a little yeah. bit more it's here. More out of the box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. it. That's it. But when you have everything sorted, you you can live a very good life. Yeah, here. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. Ghana as um, well, yeah. like an artist. You have your blank canvas. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what you want on it. You 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 are designing it. You are mm. drawing it. Mm. There are a lot of problems mm -hmm. here that you can solve. Yeah. So, for example, when we came, the water was running fine. Mm -hmm. After like three weeks, <laughs> we started having issues. Problems, yeah. Almost, yeah. almost one, one month. One month, water. no water. Oh, we had to keep going we to, to the buy neighbor. water from outside. Oh. And then, and then, and then, and then, and one time I even bought, you know, those sachet water, yeah. the whole pack. I yeah, bought it just to fill my bucket to take my bath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he said, no. I have money here, I wanted to use it for something else, but you need to get it. Yeah, yeah. it was an emergency. It was an emergency. It's not cheap, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Get all the that, 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 yeah. And, and that there was a lady who always bought water. Yeah. She carried it on her head and filled it for us. Yeah. And we, we felt sorry because she had to come like every day. Every day, yeah. every day. And we had a lot. You need yeah. a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> it was like four <laughs> one bucket per person. Yeah. 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 We did it and we solved the problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. So almost like August will be. Yeah, for two years, mm -hmm. we've, we've, we've never paid water bill. Water again, yeah. And not even to drink, because we drink our own water. Water, yeah. yeah. But we, we, did, we did the um, the ground water. Mm. So it's clean. Yeah. And yes. then with a filter and filter, the... With mm -hmm. double filter system, we okay. put chlorine in. So like I was saying, when you move into Ghana, mm. manage your expectations. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. The, the, I think the mistake that we do is try to compare here to the west, to the yeah. west and we must always realize that this is a developing country, country yeah. those i mean germany the west is developed yeah. with stock developed yeah. which means this is not yes yeah, not bad it's just different because yeah. there are a lot of opportunities here and Absolutely. advantages here Absolutely. and one one that I, I always tell my friends they tell me so do you think of coming back to the UK? I said, um, I love the I love the UK. I love living in the UK, friends there, but I love the lifestyle. Yeah. The fact that I don't have to pay mortgage, I don't yeah. have to pay rent, I don't have to pay water. water yeah. And now we don't get letters. What like bills? There's, there's, there's no letters. Yeah. The, the <laughs> everything is paid. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, yes. there's no letter box. The big chunk of our uh, the expenditure abroad. I mean, rent or mortgage. And even mortgage, once the interest rate goes up, it affects how much you pay. Mm. So we are used to the immediate gratification. Once you start work, even like in the UK, if you want to get a loan and you don't have, you've not had debt before, mm. you have to buy something, get even a credit card. You have to be in debt. Have a credit card. Yeah. 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 Once you start working, you can get a nice car, you can mm. get this car. By the time you realize, everything is... On credit. Yeah. yeah. But here... It's a bit different. I like that. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you get a lot of letters. Yeah. Uh, pay this, pay that. But here, and that gives you uh, I mean, freedom. Because yeah. you pay it, you go. Yeah, and that's you go. yeah you just buy what you can afford. You, yes, you go to yeah. the bank and yeah. you pay. That's the that's yeah. exactly. So that's why I say it's a different system. It's yeah. not a bad system. Mm -hmm. So once you're, it's, it's, a, it's a shift in the mindset. Mm -hmm. Once you are able to grasp that, mm -hmm. it's not difficult to live here. No. The problems are there. Now let's look at we we're talking about roads and when we came here, look at how our, our place was. There's only one light here. Mm -hmm. I brought the neighbors together, mm -hmm. I created a WhatsApp group, mm -hmm. and then we put 15 street lights. Yeah. In the night, even if you drop a pin, you will find, find it. Yeah. <laughs> so my neighbor told me there is a road here. I said, Good. But it was like a bush. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the first thing was I got them together. I said, let's clean this, let's weed this place off. Mm. We've contributed 900 cities, we got to the boat, they cleaned it up. I said, next, we have to do the road. Mm. So I always lead, for example, mm. I bought like four trucks, invested like 4,000 cities mm. there, and then the neighbors started contributing, yeah. contributing. And now we are constructing our road to join the other road. Mm. So when you come, we won't pass the, the main road. Right. You can also you can use this from road. the other side mm. as well, which is, yeah. which is easier. When you see the problems here, mm -hmm. all those problems 
can be solved. Can be solved. Mm. That's why it is called a developing country. country yeah. Still developing. It's still it developing. developing, and that's where the opportunities yeah, are. Yeah, because if it's right. already saturated, it's very developed. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult. Yeah. Right. And clearly, the developed country is not where you want to be. That's why you're considering Ghana anyway. Thank yeah. you. If it was so Thank good, you. why would you want to leave? Yeah. Thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you. Yeah. So we're not happy there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you have everything. And, and I, told, I told the boys, now, thank God with internet. For example, like when we came here, because we work from home, mm -hmm. the most important thing is having good internet. Okay. So we got broadband. Okay. Fiber optic, yeah. and to be honest, our internet is even faster than we were in the UK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which was which was very surprising. Yeah, huh? yeah it was very surprising. Yeah, so the, the the bottom line is you identify the problems, you don't get scared, mm. you don't run from the problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try and find out there is an opportunity in mm. this. So once you okay. you see those opportunities, the problems ah. Let it excite you. I get excited. Mm. Yeah. I don't. I get excited with the food. I'm dead. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm, 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 everything's like cool. Yeah. It's settled. becomes. You know, it's like unsettled. So what's wrong? I need a challenge. I need a challenge. It's too quiet. I need, I need, I need a challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm like that. I need to do something. I need to do again. I need to do Yeah, because like, the thing is. The biggest, the biggest goal was moving to Ghana. Yeah. And mm. not like alone, like a massive yeah. family. Yeah, the, the, amount of, deal, yeah. the amount of the money. Yeah. The amount of money. The short time. The short time. Yeah. To get together. Mm. I mean, after this, nothing scares you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So everything is so. Cool. It, it yeah. was a lot. I mean, when we yeah. got here, we, we we had we did that interview with with, Mami, yeah. with Mickey. Mm. We had in my background accent. We had fifty pounds. We came, when we came, we, we had we, came we landed in Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. We paid all we needed to pay to yeah. get here. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Like, so we have spent like we've exhausted everything. everything. But wow. the thing was, you know, when I look at you know like uh, like athletes when they are competing, they're competing, mm. competing, like they just want to cross the finish line. Mm. See, they are tired. Mm -hmm. But then, so all we wanted was just land. Mm. Go and know that when we land, mm -hmm. exactly. the money will come because we had a business yeah. already. Yeah. Because we had a business already. And every yeah. month it pays at the same you time. See, that was, that's the very important thing. Preparation. Yeah. And that brings you to preparation mm. before you come. Yeah. If you plan things well, this is a wonderful place. Mm. Yeah. You know, challenges are everywhere. Yeah. But yeah. always believe those challenges can be overcome. Mm. You know? mm. Yeah. I think you guys just had a very positive attitude towards the whole thing. Yeah. That's one thing that I notice is consistent yeah. Yeah. with the story, you know. Because I think when people are coming and they're unsure, mm -hmm. every little thing that happens they complain about because they're mm -hmm. not even sure about what they're doing. Yeah, it's like you know doubts I mean? constantly. Yes, exactly. And even if they can change it themselves, they rather complain. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Like with the roads. Yeah. yeah exactly. we, were, we were at first we were complaining, mm -hmm. but then we said, my dad, like my dad said, he got the people together yeah, and we did it. Yeah. Even with the light, at times you come out you just can't even see your own hands yeah, yeah, yeah. but now so you can yeah. see everything yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah attitude, At attitude attitude yeah and it's a mindset i mean they, they know me i'm one person i don't like to complain mm. i look at it I, I say how can i solve it if i don't i can't solve it i need to find somebody who can solve it mm. because if you complain it's it's, it's useless mm. like here yeah, here a lot of people i always tell my neighbors when are we going to get this food? Then he said, oh, Bunga, Nyami Bear. Then he said, Nyami Bear, Nyami Bear. I said, good. Have you seen God with a shovel before? And they start laughing. Yeah. So we, we, as we, yeah. we have to do it. Or the government will you know, do this. Yeah. You need to get people yeah. together. Mm -hmm. You need to get people together. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that one advantage. Yeah. When you're from the diaspora, people listen to you. Mm -hmm. You know, people, they know you have experience. Yeah. And they listen to you. So I think that's where we can play a very good part yeah. especially you, you can't help the whole of Ghana but your community mm -hmm. but someone has to lead you mm -hmm. have to yes, you yes. have to start because yes. if you don't start and wait for the government of God I mean you can't we have to focus on things we can't control yeah, That's, absolutely. yeah things that I can't control like the weather I don't complain about it yeah. even now when the light even now when the lights <laughs> lights go off we just we, everybody just goes to the balcony yeah. and just, yeah, just, just wait and wait yeah. so, yeah. but it, it, it shows you how to appreciate the same yeah, yeah. No thing. No, exactly. Like in the West, we take things for, for granted. granted. It's yeah. just appreciate you, Yes, you have light and yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it forces you to think. Yeah. So now we are focused on doing solar. Yeah. By the end of this year, mm -hmm. 
goats will will get solar. Get solar. Yeah. Even in Europe, in Germany, like oh, a, a, a high percentage use um, solar. solar, and yeah. it doesn't the sun doesn't shine, shine there as much, much, but they yeah. still use solar. As long as the sun yeah. is there, yeah. which is it? Yeah, this needs to be bright outside. Yeah. Another thing I'm curious about is school. How? What's the story with school when you moved over here? Okay, so school, like in England, it was nice. Like it was yeah. nice and stuff, but I was getting bullied, so I got tired about that. Mm. And then I told my parents stuff like, oh, you have to stand up for yourself. I was like, yeah. And then I was like, got really sad about it. Mm. So when we came to Ghana, we were like, we stayed at home for a bit, and then we went to school later on. Mm -hmm. Like it was my first time going to a Ghanaian school, so it was like a bit different stuff. But, like. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know that they use canes still. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, so in school there's like a lot of different nationalities. Yeah. So coming to Ghana, like I wasn't used to get like so much attention since yeah. I was born. Right. So I wasn't used to it at all. It made me a bit like nervous. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then we lived in my grandma's house. So I also went to school like myself. Mm -hmm. Lily stayed at home because mm -hmm. I was trying out of school. And Love like it was picture. yeah, there was like so much children coming. It's just really like it made me really nervous. Mm. It was like really overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. but not in a negative no, way. Yeah, yeah no. the thing that's funny is like one Dwayne told me once, um, this kid called him pink or something. Oh, really? <laughs> he said this yellow. Kid. Yeah, he told me oh, yellow. yellow. Like, pink, come on, pink. <laughs> they, they call us yellow. <laughs> yeah, yellow. We are yellow to them. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, curiosity, yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 So how is it now? Like, how is school now for you? Yeah, well, we, we're not going to school anymore. We're okay. homeschooled. Oh, yeah, homeschooled. Oh, my mom. She's, yeah, she's okay. the best teacher. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, it's like more, it's more nice because I don't have much pressure. Yeah. It's a language barrier too. Yeah. Because they, yes. although they had friends, during the break time, they were speaking in tree. Right. So sometimes, even when the, the girls will look at them, they will think they're talking about them. them right, Me meanwhile, right. it's not. So yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Just and they wouldn't be so close them. to the girls because of the language, yeah, right. not yeah. because they don't like them. Yeah, yeah. So that's what they told us, because okay. we used to pick them from school. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So the school wasn't too far from here. Yeah, yeah. okay. Not all schools, obviously, are like that. Yes. What I realized here, I mean, a lot of the private schools, like Rama said, they don't have qualified teachers. Teachers, yeah. They're yeah. mostly young. Yes, mm. they, a, lot, a lot of them, I, I heard they are from um, SS. They finish yeah. SS. SS and then they come CIA straight school. to be teachers. Yes, mm. and they are cheaper. Yes. They are cheaper. Yeah. So a lot of the private schools, I heard, they don't uh, have the qualified teachers. Mm. And there is a lot of differences also between the schools. Mm. Yeah. They have private schools that are extremely good, good but yes, then you have to pay a lot, a lot of, of money, money. To and they will ask you for dollars yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 a lot of money too and, and i didn't come here for that yeah because <laughs> it was free it was free awesome. where we came from yeah that's why why do you have to pay that much yes. Yes. yeah so for example if you were if you take three children to school i mean the boys they are the Finished. boys they are doing their stuff mm. so um they are all self-employed Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you guys do now? We also do the Amazon oh, work. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah okay. all the e-commerce. E e-commerce. Okay. Yeah, it's e-commerce. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. what it is. Yeah. So, we all have our businesses. Business and yeah. the little ones, the little ones, I train them too. So, what we, we're doing now in terms of education is, um, I would say education has got two legs. You have the mm -hmm. formal education and mm -hmm. informal. So, mom is doing the formal education with them. Okay. So, I do the, the, the informal education mm -hmm. side. So all you need now is the skill set. Yeah. That's why I tell them that the biggest thing I've done for you is to bring you here and take all the bills away. Mm. Now you do you are not distracted by mm -hmm. paying your paying month rent, yeah. pay all these things. All you have to do is now make money and invest. Mm -hmm. Invest in properties, mm -hmm. invest in businesses. Yeah. In five years' time, by the time your colleagues come to Ghana, by the time they, you are You're way, way, ahead, way, 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 way of ahead of them. Yeah. yeah. And here all the growth is in Africa now. Mm. So much potential. Yeah, so much potential. Yeah. Go to Statista and look at the e-commerce e potential in Africa. Mm. The forecast, I think, for next year is like 42 billion. Mm. And it's growing at a faster, faster, faster rate. Yeah, mm. amazing. Well, all the information is here. You don't even have to go out. To <laughs> <laughs> I probably need to move to Kumasi. So I think <laughs> <laughs> but I think you guys have done incredible. I think two main things that I've 
picked from it was i think the fact that you guys kind of had a business online before yeah, you moved yeah, yeah, so yeah. you didn't necessarily move with your savings no no and no, i no. think the open we didn't mind, even have the savings you, well yeah <laughs> there you go oh, and God. so but because people think about savings they think oh they're like how much money should i bring to god no. you know but it's if you can important. it's fine if you can it's fine but if you right? can't you have to find a way to have an income here exactly i think having the income is more important it, it, than it, it, having it, 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 yes it's true that you know? is true it yeah. is very very important and i want to stress that again and because uh, i mean we came with people some people we they came before us yeah and then they left mm -hmm. yeah if you look at all i mean like 99 percent mm -hmm. of why they go mm. it's not like ghana was not good it's because yeah. the, the savings it runs yeah. out eventually yeah. because it's it's because finite. money it's rise, exactly. money, money runs fast here. especially in ghana yeah. you don't expect yeah. sometimes yeah, exactly. they come, like the water one that you money money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so especially in Italy, even in accra mm -hmm. i mean it's Different than I, I always say I cry. <laughs> <laughs> I cry. <yeah. laughs> I cry because sometimes you feel like it. Yeah. I love going to a crowd. I mean, when we crowd, but it's you have to prepare. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Come here. I started realizing the importance of the sun. Yeah. yeah. There, there is something I like, used to study more about the sun. Yeah. There is something yeah. that makes you really, really happy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a midi is for your nervous system. Mm. Yeah. 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 So and I think. And I think what makes me more happy. <laughs> what makes me happy is when I, when I see the. The, the, the coconut trees and mm. you know, the, the palm trees. Yeah. Ah, there's like holiday. I know. <laughs> and, 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 and you hear the chicken. Yeah, you hear the chicken. The chicken every morning, yeah. the, the rooster. The rooster. Okay, so to wrap up, mm -hmm. I think, Mr. Animal, you shared a lot of uh, information around things that people can do if they want to move here as well. Mm -hmm. So I want to go around the room. If anybody wants to say one thing that they feel like would be good advice for people that want to come and live here. I think the biggest like thing, age. like for me, is like my dad said, just manage your expectations. Yeah. You can't come here and expect the same one-to-one -one and even better. Yeah. You have to pick and choose. The lifestyle here is more fun for me, okay. but obviously I don't have the conveniences of the same public transport yeah. or the road. So for me, you, you got to pick and choose one, yeah, so that's what I would say. Okay. What about you, Alicia? Before you come here, yeah, you have to make sure that you have like a source of income mm. before coming about anything or it won't be easy. Yeah, great. What about you, Koki? It's just a very nice place. I think you get a better quality of life mm. for more affordable mm. price. Because mm. yeah. in the UK, the weather is dreadful. Yeah. <laughs> Especially like if you have a job or go to school, it's mm. just like the same loop all the time. But here it's like... Like they say, you have a nice tropical lifestyle. Yeah, mm. yeah. Good yeah. food, great weather, puts you in a good mood. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's why I like it. Okay. Good for the mental health. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Come with a positive mindset. Yeah. And just live around the inconveniences. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's good. I would probably say if you want to come here, come here often mm. first. Mm. Yeah. Learn about the community. Mm -hmm. And if it's an area you're already looking at, like buying a plot, get acquainted with the people around yeah. so that when you do come here they can welcome you mm -hmm. those things and yeah come as much as you can yeah and then if you finally made the decision then come for good yeah yeah either you can come with savings mm -hmm. but it's better to build something yeah better building something outside mm -hmm. because the money you earn outside is more yeah or if you can build something here, that's also fine. Please oh. go there every day. It's it's heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yes, yeah, you just need to drink water. Um, say if you go to school here, you should focus on school and then also help your parents with like things around the house too. Yeah. Like, okay. So that it's more easier for them and yourself to like yeah. just yeah. Go there every day. Sorry, Alicia. Wait, wait. Try to keep yourself busy here. Yeah. Because like, you have a lot of time. Like me, I have a lot of time. Yeah, you have a lot of time for you. So you should use that time to work on your skills. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Very skills very yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. And that's what they've been doing. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, another good thing in Ghana as well as like for me, because I was always uh, employed, mm -hmm. like working for a company and everything, mm -hmm. so for nine to five job. But when you come here, you have to uh, really think outside the mm -hmm. box and you have to think about what the, what can I do to earn money? Yeah. Me. Yeah. What kind of skills do I have? If yeah. I don't have the skills, build some skills. Like my husband said, there are so many uh, websites like Kozera, uh, you can learn cyber security, mm. you can learn AI, some are even for free, this kind of things. Because I'm more into the health side and science, I find a very nice herbal doctor here because I want to go to 
kind of herbal medicine. Okay. So I do, I've been doing a private course like almost a year now. Oh, I finish it in June. Okay. I wouldn't have thought about these things in the UK. Yeah. Sometimes when life comes into your, mm. your way, mm. you, for, for, you forget what kind of skills you yes. like, really have. Yes, 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 you know? yes. So you have to go back to that a bit mm. and then pull it out a bit and then now I have the freedom and time to expand and then yes. learn more, more with my skills. Yes, sure. So that's also a regular thing mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of stuff for yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, do you have anything to add? <laughs> <laughs> You're used to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last thing I would say is me, I'm a master based girl, so I completed school here. I've completed my nursing school and instead of me to be sitting at home, to be posted, I decided to do my top up. Okay. So instead of me to be in the house, I do. I decided mm. to school my school. Oh, so okay. I'd that's the little one I can say. And what I want to add is, Ghana is fun when you have money. Mm. <laughs> that's <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> if you don't have money, you suffer here. So you yeah. should always try and do something to talk about. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. All right, so Miss Tani Mo and Ella do have a beautiful garden here, and of course, I want to see it before we wrap up this. So they're gonna give me a little bit of a garden tour. They have a big compound too. Hey, what's the size of this place? When we got it outside, all the papers I left it with my mom. Oh, but okay. What they say is like um, the the neighbors who used to, I mean, who live here, they know the genesis of the place. Oh, so okay. they say it was two plots before. This was was one. One. Ah, and then this was another one. Another one. Okay. So later, this guy had got this one because the person who had this one died some oh, years ago. So they they sold oh, it okay. to him. That's why it's here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a double it's plot. Then. Yeah, it's yeah. a double it's plot here. That's a double plot here. Yeah. 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 Okay. But if you look at the sizes now because like this house occupies just a quarter yeah. just here so you can literally build like four so the place yeah. is really, yeah. really yeah. so it's like ah. four if you divide it to four it can be like four, four, four yes. plus yeah three, four, four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah this is the um extension uh, like a new apartment we are building okay and currently if the house is built in such a way that i mean they they the owner did a good job they separated um mm -hmm. this side from this side mm. so duke and the wife they live on the on right side, side okay. the only thing we share is the kitchen okay yeah so they have yeah. their privacy okay they have two on suites there they have their own corridor their own key everything okay yeah so when this one is done they will move in here okay so this is going to be their like their living space mm. so now it's messy there but it's going to be a living space okay. and um, their bathroom is on suite here okay and then this is going to be the to uh, the kitchen mm -hmm. okay. so on top is going to be like two bed oh, apartment yeah okay, yeah okay. so they can choose to live here or live, or up, live yeah, up yeah there. yeah okay. so we plan to finish this one this year and then we have um so i i designed the landscape oh, okay. because of our lifestyle because we walk a lot we mm. do walk and i use fitbit yeah okay. i mean i did 100 day challenge uh, when i was in the uk oh. Whether rain or shine, it was winter and I was walking, walking. like about 10,000 steps a day, oh. sometimes 15, 20,000 steps. And I did 1.7 million steps in 100 days. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I love to walk. So mm. I designed the whole compound to be like a walking, walking path. Yeah. Path. So we start mm -hmm. here and then you walk and then you go, you go all the way around. Go all the way around. Oh. And then you come all the way around and you come back again. Mm. Yeah. So by the time you go do a lot of that, you have your 10,000 steps. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this is where we started. So this, we have the Royal Palms. Royal Palm, yeah. And there are seven, mm. each representing each kid. Oh, each child, seven. Oh, that's so that's, nice. the, that's what I wanted to show one, you this. One, yeah. one tree for one tree. Yes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, so really nice. we have... We have are they responsible for taking care of their own plants? So oh. they <laughs> <laughs> if I live with them, they will die. Yeah. So this is... I, I, you the water two of them us, twice a day. Yeah, twice the two day. of us, we, we do that. And, yeah. and that's okay. the time I, I love, I enjoy doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I listen to my audio books and you know reflect. Yeah. It's very relaxing. And enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love garden work. Yeah. So we have this. They call it Lady of the Night, night. or something. Okay. It's here, mm. but actually I wanted Queen of the Night, okay. and they said this one is also good. This one gives good flavor during the daytime. Okay. And then this one, this is the hibiscus flower. Mm -hmm. This one, okay. This is yeah. the Queen of the Night. Okay. From six o'clock, the fragrance. Mm. Oh, it's like perfume, it's, really. It's, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But it only smells 
during the evening. Evening, Even, evening. Okay. yeah. So it sends a smell out during the evening. It's, it's, yeah. it's so beautiful. Yeah. So I got one here, and we go here, and I'll show you the other one. Okay. But when you smell this one, for example, smell what, this, this one. Is this the same thing? No, this is one. This one. This one is the other one. They call it the Lady of the, oh, lady yeah, of the Night or Lady of the. So yes. Yes. It smells like so this, uh, jasmine. Jasmine, it smells jasmine. like your name. It's your flower. Yes, I was gonna say it like so this one smells so good. good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It this smells the whole day, mm -hmm. yeah. the whole night. We have the, the coconut trees. We have five. Oh, we planted okay. we planted With five. The dwarf. Yeah, so this, this, are, this yeah, the dwarf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have the dwarf ones. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Here we have the avocado. Yeah. We have aloe vera here. This turkey mm -hmm. berry, where it just comes by itself. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Oh, uh, I you don't plant. It own. just comes by itself. Oh, just leave it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. And we have another avocado, avocado. that we are mm -hmm. we are planting here. Mm -hmm. We are trying to get lemon and oh, orange. Okay. I did plant one from uh, an orange that I ate. Uh -huh. Did it's it come just up? Small there. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's still coming. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Some people would say, oh, plant mango, but. I didn't like the mango did the roots. It's so they have planted this one, but I think it's this is the they call this it. This is the mango, mango with the okay. the big fruit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, it doesn't that, spread that one, roots that, that much. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, okay. So this is the, the orange or or lemon. I can't remember which one it was, but yeah, I don't know it's whether we have now. to transplant it somewhere. Yeah, because of the roots. It's Maybe, yeah, it's yeah, close yeah, to yeah. Maybe we have to we have to put it here in the middle. Yeah, we have to. So this is the plantain that we knocked down, like to the base. Oh, it wasn't okay. there. Yeah. Within two years, look at this. It's already come mm. up again. And look, it's got... Look there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Last mm -hmm. week, we did a harvest. Ah. Yeah. Is this Apim or Apim? This is... This Apim. Is, uh, Apim. Apim. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Apim. So here we have... Uh, you can come here. Yeah, you have a lot of cassava. Oh, yeah. Cassava, yeah. yeah. We, we, we planted them last we, year, we, right? We planted, oh. yeah. yeah. So this cassava, they said it's like six six months and it's, then it's, it's, it's done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. yeah. And then we have that part is Banana. there. We have we have the guava. The one behind is a guava. guava yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, look look at the ah, we need to go to this side. Look at the uh, the banana. The banana. Yeah, I can see. This side and the other side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many coming out. Yeah, all yeah, the yeah. Time. yeah. So, so so many coming out. We have we've got um, the other side too, one one coming up. Coming up. There's oh, also okay. some turkey got, berries there. Yeah. Yes, I can see some turkey yeah. berries. So, mm -hmm. For soup. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> see that we just did harvest, mm. you know. So if you're doing fufu, we just just come to the garden. Come gardening. And get your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> for soup for everything. Yeah, that's the life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the lifestyle I was talking yeah. about. I mean it's it's amazing to mm -hmm. to grow stuff, see that this those stuff are coming up yeah. and then you can you can you can eat them yourself. I can down. Yeah, yes. it oh, was we, oh, we had so a many. Of, we had a lot of cotombri yeah. there. A lot of cotombri there. It's very, very healthy mm -hmm. to That's eat. Good. This is one, one of the yes. Oh, this is this is nice. It's this is coming the, so this, big this, now. This, yeah? this is the jasmine. Mm. Mm. Oh, you've got the jasmine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Smells so good, eh? So good. Yeah. It's, it smells so good. <laughs> we Tibet planted then, yeah. actually um, onions and stuff, mm. but the the snails salad. Salad and we even the even snails, the, we eat the, all the, the, the salad. Ah, ah, the snails, the snails it, yeah. destroyed everything. everything. You have a lot of snails around here. Yeah, yeah raining season. Yeah, mm. big okay. ones. Yeah. Hey, they destroyed I said, everything. I told him if you are not careful, I would take you and, and cook you. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then sometimes when we eat uh, pineapple. We just pineapple. pop them in there. Got pineapple and uh, we, had again. Lot, we had a lot of contumbre before. We did the carpet grass. Mm. And this is where they play like yeah there's enough bad, place badminton yes. they do everything here yes. for example when my 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 brother's kids come mm -hmm. ah they take the rackets they yeah. come out they they bring their bicycles yeah and, oh that's yeah. so that's nice. the, they see them play that's yeah. that, that 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 that's good this is the life oh yeah, yeah yeah you seem to have adapted so well to Ghana Ella to someone who was born in Germany lived there for a while it wasn't easy at the beginning mm. when of course when I came here first and now yeah. we lived at uh, my in-laws house yeah it feels like holiday ah yes okay. but once when you live in your own you house own you clear house. everything up yes. you pack your stuff away obviously uh -huh. for somebody who was employed all the time like I said I had to take something out of me what mm -hmm. I can do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that was a bit of you know mm. A lot of talk and everything, yes, yes, and then yes. he gave me some advice. Yes. So it is a bit difficult to mm. switch okay, from yes. employed to self-employment. Yes, self even if it's nice, you've got your own time, and but still you need to be 
very disciplined and everything. Yes, yes, the discipline is very I, I would say it would takes it takes at least a year. A year to completely to get used to everything. Everything. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. that's even good. I mean, this a year, mm -hmm. then you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And then Ella's been coming here since, uh, I mean, in her 20s. Well, it was way different back then. Yes. Way yes, different. It's so much it's better now. now. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, it's only going to get better, too. Oh, oh yes. 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 Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. By the oh, time yes. it's fully developed, we the ones that came early. We will have, Thank you. you know, First move advantage. Yes. yes. <laughs> exactly. Big pieces of the pie. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So now, imagine in, in t even in five, ten years. Mm -hmm. So if you don't come now and secure mm -hmm. and we put your stake mm -hmm. in the ground, you're going to miss you out. Old. I, mean, I always say, I mean, I came to Ghana on my own, even though I have extended family mm -hmm. and stuff. I feel like not having kids and that extra responsibility mm -hmm. will probably make it a tiny bit easier. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. have kids, it's like a different level. It's a different book. So you have a lot of things. People will struggle yeah. with that. So yeah, you yeah, guys yeah, have yeah. done oh, like thank you. Thank this you. has been so nice. Thank, thank you, you, guys. It's thank really you. It was coming. nice to meet you. Thank you, thank so you, you guys, you. I'm going to put all their information in the description box as well as on the screen. They have a YouTube channel. We'll put Alicia's YouTube, YouTube channel as well. Does any of you have YouTube? Also, oh, you yeah. have one as well. Okay. All right. I'll put everything in the description <laughs> <laughs> It'll all be in the description box. So then make sure you check them out and subscribe. And yeah, you can contact them there if you need to. But don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow your bliss. So now life is short. Follow your bliss, Nadi Faye Zing. Follow your bliss, Nadi Vesidia, yeah, and follow your bliss, Nadi Nemada. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.